Hello and welcome back to Backbone. So we're about to meet Bajwa, who's ordering all this, uh, this lovely cubed meat. Um, but also, what is this with this painting in the background? That looks like a guy. I guess it could be like a mouse or something. But it's just a weird-ass painting. Um, but let's go meet Bajwa, who's ordering all the meat and also the cigars that we have. Miss Bajwa, the... Uh, can you confirm the recipient's name? I might not get to enjoy them, but I am the recipient. Eloise Abajwa. Just following procedure, you understand. Yeah, fine. What about the payment? I have an arrangement with Lewis. It's taken care of. Uh, of, of course, my mistake. Apologies, Miss Bajwa. It's no trouble. Uh, would you ask Lewis for another special case in a couple of weeks? I'll pass on the message. Will there be anything else? That's all. Uh, but take this for your trouble. Much obliged. Have a lovely afternoon. Oh, any feedback on their last delivery? Thank you, Miss Bajwa. Pissing her off isn't going to help me get in there. I have to find another way in, yeah. Uh, I was going to say, it's probably difficult to sweet-talk your way in with a delivery. Any delivery person who wants to, like, enter your house probably isn't to... Uh, yeah... How's you? How do I? Yeah. There we go. It's probably yeah. Pretty flowers smell like a warm summer evening. Okay, can I? Can I be doing anything here? Can't climb up there. I'm assuming I have to get into that window up there. Like the open window. But I can't, like... Hmm. Unless I have to jump across from down here. Okay. I can't reach it. Damn my short arms. <laughs> well, this isn't dangerous at all. It looks cozy inside. Okay, I'm being creepy. Aha, that should help us get the uh, raised ladder down. Got a convenient umbrella out here. <laughs> I guess someone was trying to dry it out, but... <laughs> Maybe the the superstition of never opening an umbrella indoors is uh, consistent here as well. Right, we're now going to be super special delivery boy. We just need to make sure our delivery is being used properly. I should get rid of this. My pockets are too small. Screw you, umbrella. <laughs> and you throw away the only possible weapon you have. The city looks so strange from up here, but it's easy to forget the real people are struggling down below. Hey, goose. Pet the geezer. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? I mean, uh, I've never seen anywhere where you can pet a goose before. Geese are just generally vicious bastards. <laughs> Geese are like the mafia of uh, the real world. And, uh, Maybe we just uh, patted the, the Don. The Goose Don. I think down here before I climb on in. Inspect the window. It's closed on the latch. Oh wait, it's actually open the tiniest bit. If I had something thin enough to slide through and lift. Looks like there's some renovations going on. Maybe I can find some kind of tool nearby. But this thing. Putty knife. Hey stranger. Uh, hey. Don't care why you're here. Saw you climbing. Nice moves. Yep, been training. Shows. On your butt. Uh, thanks. You too. My pleasure. You know your neighbours well? Nah, we don't particularly vibe. Why? I don't know. Mind my own business. That cap that you're smoking? Yeah. Want some? We'd love to, but busy. Sure. Bye, baby doll. Bye, gorgeous. 
<laughs> well, whatever gets me not, you know, uh, <laughs> arrested, I'll, yeah. I bet the putty knife is thin enough to fit. Okay, just about easy now. Lift the latch and boop. Now I can leave it open enough to climb through. There's no one inside. Fuck Howard, you're at it again. This ranks the second craziest thing I've ever done just this week alone. But at least there aren't going to be any more surprises of dead people. I'm in way over my head. I need to quickly figure out who lives here and run. Bookshelf. Expensive looking knowledge. This desk is upsettingly tasteful. Ugh, not this guy. Bookshelf. Maybe some book secretly opens a hidden room. Uh, can I take a look at the desk, maybe? Yeah, here we go. Oh, hello, mister. Are you lost? Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm new. Part of the hired help. You look funny. Yeah, I get that a lot. Shouldn't you do something about it? Are you too poor? You are. I feel seen. You're a strange one, aren't you? I'm super ordinary. So what are you doing? Uh, I'm the desk repair guy. Daddy says repairs are for suckers who can't afford to replace things. What does Daddy do? My father is the Research and Development Secretary. He's the Secretary of Research and Development. Does he live here? No, we live in our own house, dummy. Right, makes sense. When I grow up, I'm never going to do any work. What do you do instead? Theo here just likes to annoy me and play with her dumb dolls. You think dolls reinforce bigoted stereotypes too, huh? You got a better idea? I'm going to be like the big boss. And I have the biggest cigars. Hey kids, can I ask a favour? Daddy says a single favour can be priceless, but more than one makes you worthless. I'll owe you both one great big fat favour. That depends. What do you want? My boss will be angry if I'm talking to you. Let's keep it a secret. Yes, because you're being stazy instead of working. Yes, see, I saw our little secret. Exactly, and I need this job to pay for stuff. Our stuff is better. And we didn't have to work for it. We win. Look, the grown-ups will be angry at you too. No, they won't, would they? Spending time with a peasant like me? Oh, they'll be pissed. Mm, but it could be fun to watch. You get shouted at. I can do that, you know. Shout. You'll get shouted at louder. I do hate it when Daddy shouts. What are you doing in here anyway? We snuck in here. What are your parents doing? We're eating dinner. We had ice cream already, so we're not hungry. I won't snitch if you won't. Fine, you got yourself a deal, mister. Theo, take a peek. Can we sneak out? No, you peek. I don't wanna. No, you. No, you. I'll take a peek. Favour repaid. <laughs> okay, we've got high society going on in here. I'm just waiting for like someone to stare at me. Someone's gonna like look around, right? No? Okay, cool. It's not a horror game, so that makes sense. Oh, can I speak? There we go. My controller seems to be a bit unresponsive. So is it clear? Can we go now? Yeah, you can go, kids. Thanks, mister. Come on, Theo. The desk is made out of beautiful, expensive, solid wood. You feel like the world could be run from behind this desk. Look at the pile of papers. A quick glance reveals the stack of various documents, letters, and notes. All the annoyingly small print. Right. The name of the owner of this study should be in there somewhere. No time to look through them here. Search the desk. There are a few closed drawers, an empty mug, a chunky book, and nothing else of note. Expect the book. It's a copy of Nature Within, <laughs> Within Us by Jordan Rand. Oh no, I don't even want to look at it. Open the drawers. They're locked. Whoever owns this desk is taking no chances. Search for hidden compartments. You've never seen a desk with a secret compartment, but that doesn't stop you from hoping. You find nothing. It's too risky here to search more thoroughly. Someone might come in at any moment. we got the papers. That's all we need, right? Yeah, here we go. You ready to start? Ooh, 
Let's do it. All right, so you barged into someone's study and stole a bunch of papers. Correct. What were you thinking? Must be something important in here. All right, let's see. Could you read out loud? I think best with my eyes closed. What are we looking for? We need to find out who is buying flesh from Carissa, whose apartment you are in. Let's call in the buyer for now. Yeah, which one do I read first? Start small. Something looks personal. Maybe handwritten? It's a handwritten note on a scrap of yellow sticky paper. Chief Tanner, I have a priority order for you. Your head of biochemistry will now report directly to me. Burn off the reading. Chief Tanner. Yeah, who is that guy? We have a name. Can't you look it up somewhere? I could try, but maybe I don't have to. What exactly could he be chief of? Report directly to me. Mm-hmm. Is our buyer above the chief? Yes, the chief is in high standing, but our buyer must be even more senior. Head of biochemistry. Biochemistry probably means a well-equipped lab, he says. Good point, and you can only find those in Science City. Chief Tanner must be managing the head of biochemistry, who probably works in Science City. Who is the science head of Science City? The science minister, maybe. Right. You stole these documents from the science minister. Nice, Howard. Wow, this is big. Scary stuff. So the science minister is buying flesh from Carissa. What is she gaining from this? See if we can figure that out next. I'm right here with you. Let's read on. Handwritten memo. Oh, no, we've already read that. I think that's the same one, yeah. Move on. RSVP. An envelope containing a single sheet of high-quality paper with neat writing and a signature. Uh, dear friend, I would of course attend our monthly celebration. I can't wait to see what delicacy you've prepared for us this time. Who is T.N.? Uh, uh, isn't that the president? Theodore Nashville? Are you fucking kidding me? No way. What delicacy you've prepared? Uh, flesh. Howard, they're eating people. Our monthly celebration. What are they celebrating? Some sort of ancient cult tradition that they get richer and more, possibly. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised. Well, that's... <laughs> if that is the president, maybe it's all like the... Because the apes are supposed to be like the top top dogs, if you like. So maybe it's all the apes that are in like collaboration. They've kind of like forced their way to the top and then they can just kind of eat their way down the food chain, I guess. R&D report. An official looking report on Science City branded paper. Research Project Number 76-5B, Introductory Report. Minister, protein analysis of the new sample is underway. The sample possesses hitherto uncatalogued genes, whose function will require time to isolate via RNA tracking. This can't be rushed, as I said before. Please, have patience. What should we focus on? Uncatalogued genes. Are they developing new technology? I mean, sure, but how can you find new genes? Protein analysis of the new sample. Biochemistry stuff? I'm impressed. Yes, proteins and RNA are genetic terms, and our minister hired a biochemist, to remember. This can't be rushed, as I said before. Must be the biochemic biochemist he hired writing this. The science minister is not an easy guy to work with. Sounds right, like the scientist has had to tell the minister to be patient already. What else we got? Briefing log. A leather dossier with a Golden City emblem engraving. There are a few pages inside. My right honourable ministers, I want to summarise my official recommendations on the new street jargon circulation called Monkey Butt. Despite the insulting name, I don't believe it to possess significant addictive qualities. There's no widespread risk of public health, so criminalisation is not warranted. I will continue to monitor the situation with the cooperation of the police. Your dossier uh, includes the detailed toxicology breakdown. Maybe that's what um, Clarissa is getting. She supplies meat, and Monkey Butt is allowed to remain on the streets unpoliced. No widespread risk. He manipulated the test results. Right, we know that he has access to a laboratory. I write honourable ministers. Yeah? This report is seen by the highest level of officials. 
Yeah, and if they accept the report, those drugs are basically legal. Criminalization is not warranted. The recommendation benefits Clarissa. If monkey bite is being pushed at the bite, then yeah, that's a lot of heat off her. What else we got? Police note. A blank page of paper with a small typed note and no other details or clues. Esteemed fellow minister, the recent reports of disappearances from West End have a clear connection. I don't know why you want them left alone. There's only so much we can turn a blind eye to. If this becomes a scandal, it's both our asses. Fix it. I heard about the disappearances. I fucking knew that was a pattern. This is huge, Howard. We better look more closely at this. I don't know why you want them left alone. Why does the science minister even care? They're all being turned into flesh. Potentially, but it's a stretch. It's clear proof the science minister is covering something up, though. The recent disappearances from West End have a clear connection. They're all from West End. Yes. Most importantly, the minister or someone close to him could be the link. Fix it. Uh, the police will start investigating soon? Yep. Seems like if people keep going missing, the police will be forced to investigate, which the science minister clearly doesn't want. Like last is just a note to Daddy, I think, which isn't really. <laughs> Daddy, I love you very much. Please give money for my birthday. Uh, I want to buy a lizard. Bye. Let's look more closely at that. I want to buy a lizard. Ever had a pet? Yeah, my iguana, Lizzie. Maybe we'll meet her one day when all this is over. I love you very, very much. How can you love someone like the minister? Your condition to. Children need their parents. I think we're done here. Right, Howard. What exactly is the relationship between Clarissa and the minister? Their partners, it sounds like. What does the minister want? What is he getting from all of this? Flesh. Judging by what you saw, and the dinner RSVP, these ministers, and maybe the apes at large, yeah, that's what I thought, are considering lower class people a delicacy. Monsters. Fuckers. And Clarissa is enabling this. What is she getting from it? Immunity. Ape ministers are a girl's best friend. If the science minister is helping to protect her from the police or any other meddling in our business, uh, then she gets to safely produce drugs. Yes, Howard. She has almost absolute power while the minister is on her side. The drugs are pretty straightforward. It's the missing people bother me the most. Should we look into the West End thing? Yes. I'll get you the reports, names and addresses. We have to see if these people are connected to the minister or Bloodworth somehow. We investigate West End. Tomorrow. Right, there's no time to lose. We have to act now. There must be something else we're missing. An even bigger benefit to Clarissa. Something only an ape can give her. Maybe. But there's got to be a reason it's the science minister specifically she's working with. Science stuff, then. That would explain why it's the science minister she's interested in. He was researching something, right? What was it again? RNA and proteins. Proteins. Right, proteins. They found new genes in a secret lab in Science City. Secret research only the minister and one scientist knows about. I agree, it's crazy suspicious. Could Carissa be interested in the research for her own purposes? Could be the missing girls are all making drugs in that lab. Might be powerful, she wants foul. Whatever power is, she seems to have it. We must look into it, but getting into Science City will be hard. I guess we could try. But first, West End. We're uncovering something incredible, Howard. This partnership is working out. Yeah, we're really doing it. Okay, great. Our takeout arrived. Nice, I'll get it. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> it's the goose I patted. Honk. Indeed. Honk, honk. Ah, here's your loon, buddy. Fly free. <laughs> Is the, Is that the goose we patted on the head? Drink with me. Something stronger than tea this time. Thought you'd never ask. Tonight's poison is gin. Uh, you a gin man? Pull me a tall one. This is straight gin. Ugh. Cheers to you, Renee. To fighting evil. Wherever we find it. Anyway, how are you feeling about the case and everything? Still can't wrap my head around it all. I know. I feel like I've never done anything more important. I'm glad you're by my side. Couldn't do this without you. Thank you, Howard. I feel like all my past work, my whole life, has been leading to this moment. Same. Feels like this is where I'm meant to be. I don't believe in fate, but some kind of cosmic poetry brought us together for this case. You really are a writer, huh? Yep. 
spent my life trying to figure out, find the words for how and why everything is so fucked up. <laughs> well, we'll uh, delve into fucked up how next episode. So thank you so much for watching. And if you like my content, please do check out my other videos. If you do, I shall see you there. Goodbye.